We're here again, seeing headlines all around the world about a major leak. Headlines that show tax abuses, corruption and other forms of crime in country after country after country. And it's time that we took the global action necessary to stop the problems underlying this. Not deal with individual criminality, but deal with the systemic nature of this problem. A problem that's not about one law firm in a handful of jurisdictions. A problem that's about major banks, major accounting firms, major multinationals, major law firms operating globally and taking advantage of the failure so far to align national regulation and national taxation to recognise that globalisation has taken us to a different place and created these global problems. What we're calling for at the Tax Justice Network is for policymakers to come together globally at the United Nations in a context where lower income and higher income countries have an equal voice in order to reach the global agreement that would eliminate these problems once and for all. And that means pursuing the policy platform we've put together, the ABC of tax transparency. A, for the automatic exchange of tax information between jurisdictions, something that's begun happening but really excluding most lower income countries and in which some of the biggest secrecy jurisdictions, like the United States of America, simply are not playing their part. B, for beneficial ownership transparency. We need public registers in every country of the warm-blooded human beings who own and control companies, trusts and foundations to eliminate the anonymous transactions that are so often at the heart of tax abuses and a whole set of other forms of crime and corruption. And C, for country-by-country country reporting by multinationals. We need that information on the public in the public domain showing on a country-by-country country basis where multinationals have their economic activity and where they're declaring their profits and paying their taxes so that we can hold them to account for the divergences that result from their profit-shifting behaviour and make sure that jurisdictions that drive that, like Luxembourg or the Cayman Islands or the Netherlands, are also held to account and are being forced to stop the abusive practices that make it possible. Global action now, finally, to deal with this global systemic problem. Otherwise, we'll be here again in six months or two years, seeing another leak and saying, oh no, that's too bad, why does this keep happening? It keeps happening because we're not taking global action, and we must do now.